I know of this guy who was interested in a particular lady. He was thinking about it. He found her attractive. She was a Christian. In fact, they went to the same church. She seemed to exemplify a godly character. So he's thinking about it, whether or not, you know, to pursue her. He's praying about it as well. And a friend of hers called him. She actually texted him. And the friend told him that the girl he was thinking about wanted his phone number. She wanted his phone number because she was having an event and she wanted to invite him. So he's thinking, hmm, I'm thinking about her. She wants my phone number to invite me to an event. He thought to himself, she might just be inviting you to the event. It might not mean any more than that. Nevertheless, it was like, well, hmm, this might just be a signal that she is interested in him. He told a friend, he gave, he told a friend it was okay for her to give the girl he was interested in his number. So she did. The lady he was interested in him now texted him about an event she was having and invited him to come to her place. So he agreed and he went to the event. He had a good time with everybody there. After that event, he prayed about whether or not to pursue her. He did not get a red light from God, meaning don't go. He didn't get a green light either, but he was at peace. There was nothing based on his observation of this lady. There was nothing that raised red flags. So, one day, after an event that they both attended, he approached the lady, and in not so many words, he told her he was interested in her. He was clear that, you know, he wanted to go out with her. She said she was not interested, with a smile, which kind of threw him off because she said, no, I'm not interested, but she said it with a smile. But it wasn't the smile that threw him really off. It was the fact that she said this after she said she was not interested. She said, do you want to talk more about it? So he was thinking to himself, what is there to talk about? You said you're not interested. But because she said, do you want to talk more about it? He began to question what he heard in the first place. He said, I wonder, did she really say no? Or did I misunderstand what she said? Because she's saying, do you want to talk more about it? And he was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to talk more about it, you know? So he was thinking it was a signal that, okay, maybe she wants to hear more from him to perhaps, you know, give him a chance. And he thought about it so much and he convinced himself that she didn't say no. Maybe he heard wrong. So he said, yeah, he wanted to talk more about it. So later on, he called her and the first thing he wanted to clarify was when he reached out to her and said, he wanted to go out with her, he wanted to make sure that he heard right, whether she said no or yes. She reinforced that she was not interested. <laughs>